Whoa, sorry, this was the first face you had to see. So we're gonna start in this tutorial right away and I'm going to moisturize and hydrate my face. I'm using the Derma E Hydrating Serum first and then I'm applying the Derma E Purifying uh, Moisturizer. When I'm doing dark eyes, I like to start off with my eyebrows and then work my way to my eyes because like that, any fallout on my face, then, um, you know, it doesn't fall onto my concealer. So here I'm going to start off with my eyebrows and I'm using the NYX Micro Pen Eyebrow Pen and this color I'm using in Espresso and I just like to outline my brows first and then I like to go ahead and do small strokes and filling them in like hair likes and then with the bristle like brushing the hairs just to make sure everything is even and I'm going for a dramatic brow look as you guys can see they're very dramatic that's what i was going for so now i'm cleaning and making my canvas for my eyes and i'm using the kat von d locket concealer in white and what i'm doing is here i'm cleaning my eyebrows and as you can see it's creating a very white space and this is what i want because i'm packing on color and i would like it to stay so for that i like to use a little bit of that uh, powder onto the concealer just to set it I'm going with the Kylie Burgundy palette and I'm using that middle color on the top road. And then with a the crease brush, I am blending that onto my crease all the way up to the, my where the brow stars. As you can see, I'm going all the way up. And in here, you guys can see that I just do like small strokes, but I'm actually getting in there to make sure that everything is well blended and I have a lot of color. The lights wash it off so it doesn't do justice, but I went in there and I went hammer on it. Then I'm using the Urban Decay One Stefani and I'm grabbing that brown color right in that corner and I'm going on top of that color that I just put as my transition color and this is just going to define a little bit more. I'm actually kind of doing that cut crease but not like OD on it. I am mostly working my way into that crease bone. I have hooded eyes so yeah. So I'm just applying there back and forth until I get the exact color that I like. So you can do it light, you can go back in there and do it darker. It's really up to you, but you don't see it on camera, but I did take a while in getting that brown. Then I'm going in with that matte black color at the corner, and I'm putting that in the corner of my eyes and working it upwards to that um, hollow part of my crease. I'm just pretty much making this smoke out look on the outer corner of our eyes. So I'm doing the same thing to the other side. I'm just applying it right on the hollowed parts of the um, eye. And then I'm going in with that shimmery mauve color. And I will put all the names on the bottom. And I'm putting that on my lid. And I went in there and packed on a lot. Again, you don't see it on camera because I'm trying to fast forward. But I applied about three or four times onto my eyelids. Then with a liquid liner, I am doing my cat eye. And then I am going in with these Ardell Glamour Lashes. And of course I need my glasses because I'm blind as hell. So I'm just applying the glass glue onto my lashes. And now that the lashes are on wing liner, my face looks horrendous. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. And I'm using this new Dr. Branded Pores No More um, primer. And at the moment, ladies... <laughs> This thing is amazing. So I'm just applying it where I normally have enlarged pores. And then I'm going with that NYX um, concealer in green to go ahead and hide all the red spots that I have all over my face. I do have like very red spots right there on my cheek. So I'm using this with a beauty blender, just blending that. The green kills any redness on your face. So I'm going in with the NARS um, lightweight luminous foundation and i'm mixing that nyx total coverage foundation i actually use that cover f covered as my cover fx drops i will give you guys a full review on that in another video but here i am applying four to, three to four drops of that nars foundation which is bomb that's bay bay right there all over my face and i'm blending it all i'm telling you ladies this foundation is beyond i love it it's very lightweight and the coverage is medium but it's definitely buildable but since I'm going with that full coverage, I went ahead and applied three drops of that NYX Total Cover Foundation onto my Beauty Blender and applied that onto my face. And I definitely saw a huge change. Full coverage, indeed. Then I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer. And oh my god, I don't know why, why I have taken so long to buy this concealer, but I love it. In the color Custard. And of course, as usual, I'm applying it everywhere that we want to highlight. And I'm using the pointy tip of the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. 
and I'm just gonna blend you guys know the drill blend 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 but I'm telling you ladies this foundation and this concealer are total babe holy girl at the moment I'm loving and I don't think I'm be switching to anything else too bad this is really expensive so after I blend everything together we're going with the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and just got an amazing makeover by the way this palette is bomb I'm using those two colors, the color Lucid and Lyric. I'm sorry, Lyric and Levitation, which is like the banana is the, lev the Lyric and the white one is the lev Levitation. And I'm applying that yellowish, the banana color first. And then I'm using that lighter color to lighten up my under eyes. I'm only, oh, okay. All right, Beyonce. Um, I'm only using that lightest color to where I apply um, concealer. So I'm applying it in my forehead, in the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and also on the sides just to carve out that contour very well. In this tutorial, no, I am not um, baking because <laughs> this contour palette is holy girl. So at the bottom of my eyes, I'm just applying black liner and I did the same thing I did to my eyes on the bottom. I used the brown and the black on my lower lash line. And then here I'm going in with that middle shade, which is a shadow play. And I'm just defining with the contour brush by Luxie Beauty. I think, is it called Luxie Beauty? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm defining um, my contour line. Like I want it like harsh, like bam, we got contour right over here. And then I'm grabbing a um, regular brush. This is from Tarte Jade. I love this brush. And then I'm just blending that upwards with the middle color, which is shadow play. Was it shadow play? Shadow play, yes. And then of course, on the temples of the face and a little bit on the forehead, be careful with that bronzer helmet. We don't want that. So make sure you blend, blend, blend. Ooh, honey, Artist Couture Highlight in Illuminati. That is beyond. Look at that. No, I'm telling you ladies, this highlight takes it to the next level. Illuminati by Artist Couture. It came in my um, Beautycon box. Oh, I love it ladies. I'm telling you, this is the highlight I've been using lately. You guys been asking if you're in my Snapchat. This is the highlight. Bomb.com. I just went to town on highlight. Who says you can have enough highlight? Mm -mm, I don't think so. Highlight away, honey. Highlight away. And then here I'm just finishing up my eyebrows. I like to put the brow gel, the brow gel, brow gel, just to keep them in place all day. Then mascara, just to blend my lashes with the falsies. And of course, at the bottom lashes, I also apply mascara. And then just to finish up, I use the same highlight, just to put it in the inner corners of my eyes. Just for a completed look and then for lipstick i'm mixing a sephora lip paint and this is in a very nude color i'm gonna put it on the bottom because i can't find the lipstick but look how nude this is it's really nude i love it i freaking effing love it and then i'm going with the nyx uh, is it matte lip cream in london this is a very highly requested lipstick everyone has it everyone great raves about it it is amazing nude color so this is the final look ladies this is what i had on my photo shoot for my blog if you guys didn't check the outfit post this is the look that i had i really hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna go ahead and change real quick because that shirt is ugly so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye